Hey, I'm Tempany Deckard. I'm one of the authors of It's Your Life. Hi, I'm Tristan Banks and I'm the other author. It's Your Life is a young adult novel. It's about Miller and Sim. Uh, Sim is an Australian boy who lives in the hippie town of Byron in Australia. And Miller is a little spoiled Hollywood producer's daughter who lives in the United States. And they end up having to email each other for a school assignment. Really, it was Tempany's idea to begin with. She uh, approached me. And I said to him, look, I've got this idea for writing exercise, just for fun. And I said, uh, do, you, do you want to do it with me? And he said, sure. And I said, look, I'm going to create a character. I want you to create a character. We answered about 30 questions each on our, on our characters. And then uh, we'll email each other back and forth as those characters. Then uh, the first email came from Miller, and then Sim responded, and then Miller responded again, and pretty soon we had a story on our hands. And after four months of writing back and forth, without ever talking to each other, or discussing anything, um, we had the book It's Your Life and um, we realised we had something really, really fun, really amazing and really different. I've never worked on anything where uh, it was so spontaneous. It was fascinating because we wrote it in real time. My character would get an email from Miller and Sim would be outraged and I'd be able to pour all this aggression into this email and then she, no doubt, being a pretty fiery girl, and I've got to say, Tempany's a little bit of a fiery girl too, um, would, would fire back an email. I live in the United States in Los Angeles, so I live where Miller lives, and so I would see things happening and going on, and, and that would in turn become things that were happening to Miller. Sim and Miller despise one another at first, but when heavy things start to unfold for both of them, Sim finds something in a dumpster that he can't talk to anyone else about. Miller has heavy stuff happening at home and they find that they have to confide in one another because they can't talk to the people around them. And slowly they start, they're forced to like each other. They're, they have no choice. Really to me, she's a little bit of a geek. She likes to pretend she's not. She thinks she's kind of cool, but she, you know, she loves school. She loves debating, she loves uh, getting good marks. He's a freegan, which means that he his form of activism is that he doesn't buy anything. She goes to this private girls' school in Los Angeles with you know all these celebrities' daughters. He also lives in a foster home. She lives in a mansion. And he dumpster dives for food, which means that they they go out and uh, find some of the food that's been uh, that's been wasted. She has all these things that most kids would think would be amazing but she has a family environment where she's not happy at all. Her parents don't get along. It's that classic thing of you think these wealthy people have everything and in fact they might not have anything other than money. Tempany and I both come from backgrounds as actors and we met when we were working as teenagers on uh, t Australian TV series Home and Away. I started acting when I was 10 years old in Melbourne in Australia. Uh, I've been on quite a few Australian television shows and I've shot American movies of the week and uh, some feature films and done some plays. Uh, so acting's always been a really big part of my life. It was a lot like acting in, in many ways. You have to have a voice for your character, you uh, hear dialogue and you pour it into the story. You're creating the story on the run just as you are when you're improvising as an actor. I really felt like I got to combine my acting and my writing in that I was playing this girl Miller and I got to play her for four months every day. It's quite an exciting process uh, when you don't know what's gonna happen and you're forced to think on your feet and whatever comes out, you have to go with that idea. One of the big themes in It's Your Life is uh, domestic violence. Social consciousness is definitely a theme. Um, consumerism, how much we uh, spend and how much we consume. I think there are a lot of teenagers and a lot of kids out there who have issues within their family where they feel like they, they really have no one to turn to to get help or advice. Sim consumes very little and the little that he does he gets out of a dumpster or by the side of the road while Miller has endless amounts of money it seems. One of the great parts of this book is that Miller ends up using a helpline to get advice from an adult. I really hope It's Your Life encourages a lot of kids who are going through a rough time um, to reach out and get some help. 
It was a really gut instinctive way to write. In the finished story, I think we've maintained a lot of that um, edge and a lot of that uh, emotion that poured onto the page in that in that very first draft. It was as fun for me to write it as hopefully it is for young adults to read it. Mm -hmm.